Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. Today we would be talking about ways to move on after a breakup. Breakups are tough. They can leave you feeling lost and disoriented like you've just checked into a place you never wanted to be. They can feel like the end of the world. As if everything you knew has crumbled away. You might feel sad, angry, and confused all at the same time. These emotions can be overwhelming making it hard to see a way forward. It's even harder when you still love the person who broke your heart. The memories of happier times can haunt you, making the pain feel even more intense. It's okay to feel this way. You're not alone. Many people have walked this path before you and have found their way through. Many people experience the pain of heartbreak. It's a universal experience that connects us all. It's a part of life and a sign of having loved deeply. The depth of your pain is a reflection of the depth of your love. Give yourself time to heal and know that brighter days are ahead. Healing is a journey, and every step forward is a step towards a better future. It's like you're stuck in a hotel with no checkout date. Heartbreak Hotel. But remember, this is just a temporary stop on your journey. The rooms are filled with memories. Each one holds a piece of your past but they don't define your future. You see his smile in the mirror. It's a reminder of what was, but also of what can be again in a new and different way. You hear his laugh in the hallway. It's everywhere, but these echoes will fade with time. But just like any hotel, this too is temporary. You will move on and the sun will shine again. You won't live here forever. Take a deep breath. You've got this. Each breath is a step towards your new beginning. The first step is acknowledging your feelings. Writing them down or talking to someone can help you process and understand them. It's okay to be sad. It's a natural part of the healing process. It's okay to miss him. Missing someone is a sign that they were important to you and that's something to cherish. The love hangover, it's okay to not be okay. Love can be a lot like your favorite dessert. Amazing at the time, but sometimes leaving you with a slight ache afterwards. You savor every moment, every bite, but when it's over, there's a lingering sweetness that can turn into a bittersweet memory. This ache, my friend, is the love hangover. It's that feeling of emptiness, the void that seems to grow larger with each passing day. It's the longing for what once was and the uncertainty of what lies ahead. You might feel a bit lost and unsure of what to do next. The world seems a little dimmer and the future a bit more daunting. It's like wandering through a fog, searching for a light to guide you. You might even question your own worth. Doubts creep in and you start to wonder if you were ever enough. But remember, these thoughts are just temporary visitors in your mind. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's okay to feel vulnerable, to feel hurt. These emotions are part of the healing process. Embrace them, but don't let them define you. It's perfectly normal to feel a whirlwind of emotions after a breakup. Sadness, anger, confusion, they all come crashing in like waves. But just like waves, they will eventually recede. Think of it like this. Your heart is a muscle. And like any muscle, it needs time to heal after an injury. Give yourself that time. Engage in activities that bring you peace and joy. You're not weak for feeling this way. You're human. And being human means experiencing the full spectrum of emotions. It's what makes us alive, what connects us to one another. Allow yourself to feel the sadness, the anger, the confusion. These emotions are valid and deserve to be acknowledged. Don't try to bottle it up, let it out, scream into your pillow, punch it if you need to. Release that pent up energy. Cry during a sad movie marathon, let those tears flow. It's a cathartic release that can help you process your feelings. Whatever helps you release those emotions, do it. Write in your journal, paint your feelings, play a sad song on the piano. These creative outlets can be incredibly healing. Tears are your friends, let it flow. Crying is not a sign of weakness. It's your body's natural way of releasing stress and processing emotions. Tears are like those magical potions you read about in fairy tales, washing away the pain and hurt. So let those tears flow freely. 
Imagine your tears as little rivers carrying away the sadness and hurt. The more you let them flow, the lighter you'll feel. Hope you are enjoying the video so far. If so, kindly give me a massive thumbs up. Don't be afraid to have a good cry. It's therapeutic, I promise. Put on your favorite sad song, grab a box of tissues and let it all out. Just like you wouldn't want to swim in a river forever. Don't let yourself drown in sadness. Crying is good, but it's important to find moments of joy and laughter too. Your support squad. You don't have to go through it alone. Remember those amazing friends and family members who love you unconditionally? They are your support squad, your cheerleaders, your personal therapists. Well, almost. Don't hesitate to reach out to them. Talk to them, cry with them, let them distract you with funny stories and silly jokes. Think of your friends and family as warm, fuzzy blankets on a cold night. They provide comfort, warmth, and a sense of security. Let them be your shoulder to cry on, your sounding board, your partners in crime for a much needed girl's night out. Sometimes, just talking about your feelings can make a world of difference. It's like letting fresh air into a stuffy room. You'll be surprised how much lighter you feel after sharing your burden. Mirror, mirror, rediscovering your awesome self. This is the perfect time to reconnect with yourself. Who are you? What makes you happy? What are your passions? Use this time to rediscover your own awesomeness. Start a new hobby, learn a new skill, travel to a place you've always dreamt of. It's all about you now. It's like cleaning out your closet. You get rid of old things that no longer serve you, making space for new and exciting additions. In the same way, this is an opportunity to shed any negativity from the past and embrace the amazing person you are. Remember all those things you wanted to do but never had the time for? Now is the time. Learn to play the guitar, join a dance class, start writing that novel you've always dreamed of. Out with the old, in with the new embracing new beginnings. Each sunrise brings with it a promise of a fresh start, a new chapter waiting to be written. Breakups can be painful, but they also present an opportunity for a fresh start. It's a chance to rediscover yourself, to find new passions and interests that you may have overlooked before. Think of it as a blank canvas, a pristine space where you can create anything you desire, free from the constraints of the past. You have the power to paint your future with any color you desire. Each stroke of the brush is a step towards a new and vibrant life. Don't be afraid to try new things, meet new people, and create a life that excites you. Embrace the unknown and let curiosity guide you to new adventures. Imagine yourself standing at a crossroads with a path stretching out before you, full of possibilities. Each direction holds a different adventure, a unique story waiting to unfold. You can choose to stay stuck at the crossroads, dwelling on the past, or you can take a deep breath, put on your best walking shoes, and embark on an adventure. The journey ahead is yours to shape. This is your chance to write a new chapter in the story of your life. Fill it with dreams, goals, and aspirations that reflect who you truly are. Make it a chapter filled with laughter, love, and incredible experiences. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. The world is your oyster. Embrace it with open arms and an open heart, ready to discover the treasures that await you. So there you have it. Hope these steps help someone today. I would love to hear from you. Have you experienced heartbreak before? How did you navigate it? Share your heartbreak stories and heartbreak glories. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, stay strong.